Are you suffering from something we call decision fatigue? Look, if you think it's just hype, if you think it's just a phenomenon, it's actually scientific fact. Cornell University did a study that found out that the average person today makes over 200 food decisions every single day. Today's human is making exponentially more decisions every single day compared to a decade ago, 50 years ago, 100 years ago. Look, back then, it was like chicken or beef, right? Today, you walk into a fast food restaurant or any restaurant and the menu alone is overwhelming. Maybe you've had this experience where we have a restaurant here in uh, Columbus called BJ's and it's fantastic food, but the thing is, it's page after page after page after page of menu items. And you might say, oh, that's just no big deal. The reality is, is that your brain is only able to process so many decisions every single day. And what they found is that our decision-making ability gets weakened throughout the day. They actually did a study in a court of law and found out that the judges made poor decisions as the day went on. And in fact, right before lunch, they made some of the worst decisions. They made more guilty decisions, even though people weren't necessarily guilty, just because they were hungry and they had decision fatigue. It's unbelievable. Listen, if this can happen in the court of law, imagine your day, imagine my day. Look, today's a big day for me in our business. We have a webinar. And so on a webinar day, I specifically try to limit my decision-making ability early on in the day. So normally I would have gone on a bike ride in, in, the, uh, in the morning, but I decided not to because there's so many decisions as I'm riding my bike. Should I turn here? Should I stop? Should I go, you know, all kinds of decisions. And what it does is it takes up energy and life force. And as a result, on a webinar day, I literally try to limit some of these decisions so that I can do what's called showing up filled up. When I show up filled up, I'm more on. I get into what's called flow. Flow is a concept developed by a gentleman named Mihai Csikszentmihalyi. And he talks all about the optimal state of human performance called flow. Listen, all of this stuff might sound hokey, it might sound hype, until you start Googling the research and you start realizing that actually this is some of the secret superpowers that people who understand productivity tap into. It's almost unfair. Other people in business and ministry and entrepreneurships and author and coaches and speakers, they might not be tapping into these flow states that your brain is able to actually jump into up to 500% more productivity simply because you are aware of these concepts that the general public is not aware of. And so the general public, look, even down to Mark Zuckerberg and the late Steve Jobs, now Arianna Huffington is also getting on the bandwagon. What they're doing is they're even eliminating the choice of wardrobe in the morning. Because you might say, come on, are you serious, Cares? Look at Mark Zuckerberg is serving a large percentage of the population every single day. And he said, why would I take up mental bandwidth standing in front of my closet and deciding should I wear stripes, polka dot, or plaid and grind up some of that great uh, energy available to me? Not at all. He says instead, I go in there, the decision is already mapped out. Look, give it a shot, give it a try. I'm not saying we choose to become uncreative robots. I'm actually saying save your best thinking, save your imagination, save all this productivity for the decisions that really matter, not should I have lemon water or lime water or should I wear jeans or khakis. You're too important, your message is too important and the world needs what you have to offer and therefore 
don't fall into the trap called decision fatigue. Look, if you know someone who needs to hear this, tag them and let's have people that truly are imaginative and truly are the creatives that we need to solve the bigger problems in the world. This is Kerry Oberbrunner. Be a soul on fire today. I'm excited to hear your thoughts about decision fatigue. We'll see you.